This week, the Surgeon General issued an advisory on teen vaping, calling it an epidemic and asking for, quote, aggressive steps to fight it, including age limits, taxes, and restricted sales. MTN's Patrice Park says more on local efforts to reverse the trend. Over the past year, there's been a 78% increase in the number of kids who are using e-cigarettes. And looking at Montana, we actually have a higher rate of e-cigarette usage among our youth here. And uh, even more locally in Gallatin County, as of 2017, over a third of high school age students had tried e-cigarettes. Demaris says this is concerning because it's creating a whole new generation addicted to nicotine. And the most popular product among youth, which is the Juul, always contains nicotine. One pod actually has the equivalent of an entire pack of cigarettes. Demaris says there are side effects that teens and their parents might not be aware of. Nicotine has been proven to have a substantial impact on youth brain development, which continues until the age of 25. So <clears throat> um, nicotine can have long-term effects on memory, impulse control, motivation, and also um, decision making. Demarest says there are things community members can do to help reverse this trend. First, start by educating yourself. Learn all you can about these products, the harm they can have on youth development, and then um, in turn educate the youth around you. And we also know that youth-led interventions can be highly impactful, especially when it's older students educating their younger peers. And on a community level, we also know um, that tobacco-free environments and providing funding to tobacco cessation and prevention programs along with increasing the price on tobacco products can all have a substantial impact on the number of youth who start using these products and continue to use these products. In Bozeman, Patrice Parks, MTN News. The FDA and the Surgeon General are also calling for a ban on flavored nicotine products.